These two studies are going to blow your mind, guys. And probably not only change the way you think about this world, but how you look at yourself forever. The first study was created by this guy, an award-winning scientist named Dr. George Land, to help NASA establish who their very best rocket scientists and engineers were. Now the test itself was a huge success and because it was so simple in application, Dr. Land decided to give it to a group of 1600 preschool kids between the ages of 4 and 5 years old. What they found shocked them because 98% of all of the children scored at genius level. Now, obviously fascinated by this, Dr. Land turned the one-time test into a longitude study, which means you test the exact same group of kids again in the future to measure their progress. So fast forward five years later, by now the kids had already begun school, and a massive drop took place where only 30% of them managed to maintain their genius level of creativity. Fast forward another five years, by now in high school, and that figure dropped all the way to just 12%. Now since that original study, Dr. Land and his team have tested more than 1 million adults, and just 2% of all of them scored at genius level. Now to help you understand all of this a little bit better, allow me to explain the concept of this study, which is rooted in something called divergent thinking. Like the book slash movie Divergence, in which the lead character is an independent free thinker, divergent thinking is simply the ability to have an open mind that can creatively adapt and think beyond the rules and public perceptions that limit and control the rest of society. In other words, divergent thinkers have very powerful imaginations. And this is what actually allows them to think outside of what most people consider to be logically possible. Now to put this into perspective, the car, the phone, the plane, the internet, 3D printing, all of these incredible inventions and future ones still to come, they all have their roots in the imagination, not logical thinking. In fact, all of these inventions were at first mocked as idiotic and impossible by highly educated people. And this is presumably why Albert Einstein once said that imagination is actually more important than knowledge. Because knowledge is limited whereas imagination embraces the entire world and all potential future possibilities. You see, the preschool kids scored so high on Dr. Land's test because they naturally have very powerful and wild imaginations. A child's mind is curious, creative, innovative, and full of untapped potential. But as we get older, we are conditioned to obey, copy, memorize, and conform. And if we don't follow these rules, we either fail or get disciplined by the authorities. The second study, which is equally shocking and profound, was conducted by Professor Paul Bloom of Yale University to determine whether babies are born with morality and a sense of right and wrong, or if these things are learned from the society we grow up in. Through a series of award-winning studies on infants as young as just three months old, Professor Bloom not only convincingly established that babies are born with morality, but they even try to soothe the pain and suffering of others and have such a strong sense of fairness and justice that they will even punish cruelty whilst rewarding kindness. In other words, hatred, indifference, injustice and exploitation are not natural to us guys. They are learned. <gasps> Told you, some mind blowing stuff. But now considering everything I've shared with you thus far in this video, we have to seriously start questioning the society in which we live. Our world is dominated by exploitation, corruption, injustice, greed, and apathy, along with other things that clearly do not reflect our true human nature. And the reason for this is actually quite simple to understand guys. This world does not reflect the nature of the majority of the people. It reflects the nature of a small minority of so-called elites.
You see, in order for a few corrupt families, bankers, politicians, and other like-minded individuals to maintain their status quo of unending war, exploitation, and elitism, they have to replace our revolutionary nature with conformity, obedience, apathy, and ignorance. If they fail to do this, they obviously risk being overthrown. So to prevent this from taking place, they indoctrinate us, distract us, and divide us. They brainwash us to blindly obey authority through school, encourage consumerism and conformity through TV, plant fear and hatred through the news, inspire division and tribalism through politics, breed envy and materialism through celebrity culture, and create desperation and servitude through artificial scarcity. Basically anything they can to prevent us from waking up to who we really are and what our purpose for being alive really is. The only solution here guys is we need to take our own education and well-being into our own hands. Don't watch their television programming, watch something educational and inspiring instead. Don't listen to their politicians. Listen to the peace activists and revolutionary thinkers they try to silence. Don't follow their circus show celebrities. Follow the people genuinely trying to empower you. Don't support their corrupt corporations. Support ethical companies trying to make this world a better place. In short, we must stop feeding this sick system through careless choices, guys. It only serves to distract us about what the greater purpose of life really is. You see, only after we do this can we begin to think clearly and remember what we knew by nature as small children. We are not here to merely exist and conform to this backwards world, my friends. We are here to awaken our true potential and help to create a new one.